Hi there, my name is Ruben, and today we are talking about mobile attribution, specifically branch. Now, mobile attribution is hard, it's really hard. A lot of my clients get it wrong, it takes a long time to fix it, just app source, it's a pain. Luckily for us, branch can make life a little easier. Uh, so we're looking at uh, branch in, in particular, uh, though I also have videos on AppsFire and Adjust, some of the other major providers in the space. Uh, there's, of course, I think 10 more uh, that I could have done a video on, but uh, there's limits and choices to be made here. Nonetheless, uh, today I want to talk about three things for Branch. First is what is Branch looking like 2020? Uh, Future-wise, position-wise, company-wise, where is it going? Uh, I've been using Branch for a few years now, so the evolution has been interesting to watch. Next, uh, I want to look at how branch fits into your company, whether you're a mobile consumer, mobile B2B, some other mix. What is it really good for? What is it not? And lastly, look at tools in general. Take a holistic view of how tools fit into a data strategy and how you should think about that. Uh, so this is not a, a comprehensive look at every little thing that branch offers, every report and nuke and set in. Instead, it's a strategic conversation. It's the one I have with clients all the time as I help them make choices on what tools to implement. Uh, and this becomes an initial starting point on which you can then keep diving deeper through your research and your own work. Now I'm gonna share my screen. Uh, I'm gonna share the, the company website, the product, interesting tidbits. Uh, it's gonna be great. Uh, so let's jump right in and let's follow along and look at how Branch is standing today in 2020. All right, let's jump right in and talk about Branch. Now, Branch is a, a mobile attribution provider, uh, which means it's, it's here to help us uh, close the gap between what happens when a user clicks on a link or an ad on your website, they go to the app store, they download your app, and then they install it. They, you know, they sort of pop up again uh, when they install the app from a tracking perspective. So that those steps in between uh, are sometimes a bit of a, of a black box just because you, you don't control the information that's being tracked. Now what's interesting about Branch is that it started as a, as a deep linking product, the ability to, you know, to link users to different parts of the app and do it consistently across iOS and Android. Um, if you look at a lot of the product, we still see a lot of deep linking functionality, uh, but they start to move more into attribution and a few other things. Uh, the reason why I think they're one of the strongest players is they have uh, affordable pricing, especially if you're getting started. Um, and it's a product that does uh, a few things, but it does them really well. Now, if you compare it to AppsFire or Adjust, the other two tools that I'm doing, uh, it can definitely seem like it doesn't have all the functionality. You know, for example, this there's not a lot of work here around fraud uh, prevention, which adjusts us really well. AppsFlyer also has. Some of their reporting, uh, the analytics reporting is also quite basic compared to both Adjust and AppsFlyer. Uh, you know, the audience building uh, is not here. Uh, so there's a few things that are missing, uh, which makes I guess in a way, branch a little easier to decide because if any of those are important to you, branch is not even uh, in the conversation. But if you're interested in really solid deep linking for a company that's been based, you know, fundamentally on deep linking from the beginning, and you want some basic attribution, uh, then actually branch can be a good choice, right? Uh, one thing that that's uh, interesting about branch is they they popularize this people-based attribution model uh, where, you know, it used to be, uh, they have something here, you know, this is sort of how a lot of attribution models are built, fingerprints, cookies, IDFA, things like that, uh, and branches effectively taking that, but then they build their own uh, network for identifying users. Uh, I do think their attribution model or, or the way they attribute users uh, to be quite powerful, quite solid. 
Um, AppsFire is also moving in this direction, uh, and I wouldn't be surprised if Adjust also moves in this direction. So something that the branch has right now that I think AppsFire is already matching, and it's likely that Adjust could match over time. Uh, but nonetheless, uh, it's something that that they uh, that they've been building upon for the past year. Um, and in 2019, when we were choosing branch for some of my clients, uh, it was one of the the factors uh, that made that. Now, branch hasn't raised as much money as uh, some of the other providers. I mentioned that uh, AppSlider raised a couple hundred million dollars uh, just this year, early 2020. Then I just did the same thing um, back in uh, 2019 uh, with a couple hundred million dollars. Uh, AppSlider, on the other hand, uh, we'll confirm here. Uh, they actually raised a little bit less, you know, about $100 million back in 2019, uh, September 2019. Uh, and then they did about the same in 2018. Uh, so actually, uh, compar uh, their, their funding is actually quite comparable. Uh, sorry, that's a mistake on my part. And I think it reflects the, uh, the space itself, right? It reflects the, um, the, the space is changing. And it's there's lots of possibility, there's lots of potential, uh, but also lots of uh, challenges coming up. Before I talk about the space, though, I, I want to show a little bit about the product. Um, and what we see here is, you know, sort of the the basic track of conversions uh, by channel, or you know, by sources. Uh, all this section here is uh, different forms of deep linking or reporting based on deep linking. Uh, so the web to app, the ads, the email. Referrals, quick links. Again, this is the deep linking functionality. Uh, this is the where they take the the different sources, and then you get to see some of the things like installs and clicks, and then maybe some of the key activities within your product. And then you can export data and so on. Uh, so the product, you know, when we look at this versus AppsFire, it's it's much more simple in nature. But again, it does a few things really well. Um, and for a lot of companies, especially um, mobile companies are just going to start it. This can actually be good enough, and the simplicity might help uh, because there's not a lot of ways you can lose yourself uh, here. Uh, but eventually, if you, if you're ready for more complexity or you're able to handle it, a tool like AppSlider has, I think, a little bit more room to grow uh, into it. Okay. Now I mentioned about the space. Um, Privacy is a, a big factor here, and if you look at the la the latest ads by Google and App, uh, Google and Apple, uh, we see a lot of push on privacy, right? Uh, and I think what what this means in reflection is that they would the tracking itself will become harder over time. Um, so tools like Branch and AppSlider and Adjust are going to become even more critical which I think is where the funding is coming from, but the accuracy of the data will decrease. There will be perhaps chunks of data that are not being tracked in any shape or form. So this is the space in which Branch and all these tools are, are growing, uh, and it's something to keep in mind over time. The final thing I want to cover here is just how I think about data strategies, how I recommend to my clients to think about their data strategy. And it really comes down to three fundamental ideas here, uh, people, process, and providers. Uh, people is anyone who's going to use the data, understanding what their technical skills are and what format do they want the data in. Uh, the best example here is an executive versus a product manager. The way they want to consume data and, and think about data is a little bit different. Then we have process, which is just your team's ability to extract insights, uh, whether it's by exploring data or by analyzing reports or dashboards. Uh, do they understand statistics, probabilities, things like that? And that, lastly, we have providers. And this is where uh, Branch falls in. Right? So we have uh, different tools that make up our stack, but our stack really depends on what kind of process we have and what kind of people, uh, what's the skill level within our team, uh, based on that, we think about pros, uh, providers. Ideally, in the right world, you go bottom up, but most companies typically go top to bottom, 
So they think about what's the best tool here, we'll implement it, we'll make it work, uh, but this reduces the chances of success. Uh, a lot of times, quite a bit actually. Uh, it can make it really harder to to find the right tool when you don't know what's sort of the right uh, structure for your team. In summary, uh, Branch is a, it's a, it's a great tool that does a couple things really well. Uh, it has a lot of funding. Um, and it's uh, it's quite popular, despite not having as much functionality as Adjust or AppsFire. Um, if you have any questions, post them in the comments below. Uh, I'll do my best to answer them. Make sure to like or subscribe this video. And uh, I'm doing a few other, other ones. Uh, so you'll see a few updates on mix panel and segment and so on. Um, I'm hoping to do them every year to just give people a sense of how the space is changing uh, based on what I'm seeing, um, what I'm doing with clients, uh, and I hope you enjoy them. Uh, once again, my name is Ruben, and talk soon.